Hi everyone, so today I wanted to do a really fun smicky eye look that was uh, kind of spring 2013 trendly. A lot of pink, I've seen a lot of aqua, teals, oh I love teal, blush, red, uh, black, silver and gold de decoration, spangles, spikes, a studs, leopard print, but I have never seen that much purple this season, so I thought you know, it'd be a little fun to do a purple eye since most people don't want to go too mixy matchy with their clothing. I thought we could do a soft lavender eye to coordinate. Pastels are going to be super, super in for spring, so I thought that this would work well with all those. And purple looks great on so many different eye colors. Anyways, thank you so much for watching again, and let me know if there's anything as far as spring trends go that you want to see that you have not seen yet on my channel. And thank you so much. For I'm actually going to start with the Tarte Smolder Eyes Pencil in the shade Ash Violet. Even a nude one will work, but I just really want the end look to be a bit smoky. So I'm going to pat some of that on and then blend it out with my finger. Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Pencil. I'm actually going to take Sand Shimmer and place this at the arch of the brow bone. And now I'm just going to take Sugar Pills Eyeshadow in Paper Doll. It's a beautiful bright lilac with silver shimmer in it. And I'm just going to pat, pat this all over Ash Violet with this Sigma E55. And the Ash Violet base really does make the silver eyeshadows almost look violet because it's reflecting off of the darker base. And it'll just really work with the pastel clothing I see in all the stores. I see a lot of blush, a lot of teal. Not so much purple, but I have seen a lot of red and yellow. Now I'm going to take the Sigma E70 and color number 363, which is a matte chocolate. And we're going to put this in the outer corner of the eye. And then blend it in. To get around the tiny little outline of the eye, um, where we ended the color, we're just going to take little rotation motions. To soften up that line so it does not appear hard. 458, which is a shimmering chocolate brown. And we're going to place this in the outer corner. And we're just going to do little rotation motions in the deep socket. 351 matte, which is a color I don't typically take. So I'm just going to change it up. You should take something peachier for my brow highlight. You can take a fluffy brush if you prefer. 461, which is in that brown. This is the E70. I'm just going to go over the outer edges of the brown shades and blend it up towards the brow bone. Matte Camille. Take Inglot 77 Gel Liner. My uh, Dawn Tool 760 brush into the Inglot Gel Liner. We're actually going to create a very full, heavy black wing. Only slightly holding the eyelid taut just so we can get a somewhat straight line. Don't hold it too tight because you'll pull the wing way out past the amount of length you want it to be. First I'm going to take 65 AMC which is a black sparkly color. We're actually going to put this over the black gel liner on the upper part of the lash line. If the glitter is too much for you, you can always skip this, mo this uh, moment. Well yes, you could always skip this moment. Now for the lower lash line, we're going to take the same color and we're actually going to dot that over the Anastasia cream base in the outer portion, kind of feather it down slightly. More paper doll for the lower lash line and we're just going to kind of do a little mirror effect um, from the top to the bottom taking that little Sigma paddle brush and we're just going to feather this on the edges of the black. We're going to take Inglot eyeshadow number 403. I love the contrast of gold and purple, or gold and lavender in this case. And we're just going to add some gold. A gold eyeshadow from Lush. This is called Fantasy. 
And you can also use it as an eyeshadow base. You could take the color reading online. If you pick the colors that are attuned with your mood, the reading's actually quite fun and kind of accurate. This is a vegan knit color. The ones that are the funky colors are usually have this little eyeshadow wand. This kind of replaces my Urban Decay eyeliner in Eldorado, which I already used up either way. But I like this one. Really, It's really cool because it's a little smoother than the Urban Decay one. So it's even easier to use as an eyeshadow base, which is fun. goes on very smooth so but you could still see the glitter reflex could have been a pretty decent swipe under my eye but I really want you to be able to take a look at that and see how beautiful it really is Urban Lux vegan mascara which I'm actually really liking this stuff right now it's just a little hard to remove but that's okay as long as it makes my lashes look thick during the day and it's really comfortable this are what's really in style now so if you want to go really bold really heavy feathery you can go for that I'm going to take these 105s because I think they're right in the middle but more borderline dramatic. Inglot YSM Cream Foundation number 41. If I had my exact shade, I would go out to the store right now and get it. But they are out of this. I love the glowing effect of it. Right now my skin's very dry. It needs something to drink. So YSM. This one's actually also very creamy but because it's so heavy it can actually make dry skin stand attention now that my skin's so dry it's like flaky. I see that now. So this I actually recommend for a wider variety of skin types, the YSM. Unfortunately their shade range is not as broad as the AMC but if you're going to use this on very very excessively dry skin definitely make sure you have a great moisturizer. So I've just been mixing 41 and 25 together to get the color I want. Oh. Uh, for bronzer, I took the Too Faced Bronzus, Too Faced Bunny Aqua Bunny, Too Faced, sorry, <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Too Faced Aqua Bunny Cream to Powder Splash Proof Bronzer that is right here. Uh, forehead, a little on the chin, and a little bit on the nose. If you're having difficulty with contouring, I would strongly suggest taking a cream bronzer because you can kind of work it in the skin like a foundation. If you're more comfortable with foundation than bronzer, it should actually be easier for you than you could expect. Too Faced Full Bloom Glide on Cheek uh, Cream Color Base in the color Sweet Pea. This is a fun purple. Now for cream um, blushers, they work really well for excessively dry skin, but if you have oily skin, you can use them too. If I were you, with if I had very oily skin, what I would do is get a great setting powder or try to find a cream blush that is more of like a gel or a lightweight tint rather than a very heavy cream based one. These Too Faced ones are super pigmented. So if you have excessively oily skin, like to the point where your makeup's falling off of you at the end of the day, use a mattifying primer or use a lot of, um, I won't say a lot, actually just use a great mineral veil. You all over shimmer in the shade Kitten Shimmer. And it is um, basically a little bit more of a shimmery uh, version of Benefit's Moonbeam, which is their gold. They also make one similar to High Beam, which is that pinky color. But I, I do think that the yellow is more flattering. If I could recommend one drugstore liner, I really do have to say it's the Jordana ones. They're really creamy. I don't. They're not my favorites. I have to say they're a little bit harder than my favorites. They don't last as long, but I do like them. And if I had to pick only drugstore, I'd go for the Jordani Easy Liners for lips. This is in the shade Tawny. It's a gorgeous, um, it's a gorgeous corally nude, and that's, which is usually my basic favorite nude, is the peachy warm tone nudes. Actual nude lips, I do like pink based nudes, ones that have some tan in them, because it does make you look a little bit alive, and it doesn't make your lips disappear altogether. It gives you that whole nude lip look. Great nude lip gloss, Ice Cream Assassin. It is a soft tan nude, which is actually a lot more tan than 224 by Inglot. It's by Pumpkin and Poppy. I sincerely hope you loved it. Uh, I don't normally do blush that's completely different from the lips, but I think it works in this case because the blush really kind of coincides with the purple eyes. It's a purple blush, and then it's so blended out that it just really creates a nice flush. And I really hope that you enjoyed this look. I had fun putting it together for you. Hope you're enjoying my spring 2013 kind of ongoing sort of mini series. I'll get back to other things, but I just really want to kind of show you how to rock these trends and create looks to go with them. All these looks that I'm creating for spring 2013 trending 
or not looks I've already seen, but they're just what I know is going to be really in, um, you know, little tips and things that I know are going to be in for spring 2013. So I hope you enjoyed and thank you for watching.